In this video, we're going to cover adding accessories into our product catalog. Now, let's add products into our product catalog. To access the products section of the platform, we're going to go to the bottom left of the window. We're going to select our avatar. From here, we're going to select Manage, and then we're going to go to Company Management. Our landing section is the products catalog. Here, we're going to add all of our products outside of our bulk flour, prepackaged flour, joints, clones, and seeds. The purpose of the product catalog is to create a centralized database of all of our products that we carry in our dispensary. We want to focus on creating a uniform naming convention database to ensure that we don't run the risk of items with duplicate naming conventions. We also want to make sure that we have the proper spelling and casing when adding our products. This clean data will be beneficial for the way inventory is displayed for our bud tenders the information we extract from the platform with reports, and for any customer facing live menus or digital signage. Let's add an accessory. At the top right of the page, we're gonna select the addition symbol. This will bring up our add new product window. The window will automatically default to our accessories. Let's begin by adding an accessory. Now, the more robust we build this window out, the more your customer will see if utilizing a third-party live menu integrator like iHeartJane, Dutchy, or Leafly. Now, some of these integrators differ with what information will be presented on your live menus. If you plan to integrate with one of these, please reach out to your third-party online menu rep to make sure that you're adding the necessary data. Also, these details will be available for your bud tenders to view while in the cashier tab. The first field is gonna be where we enter our brand. Let's add ZigZag as the brand name. The best practice is to include the brand first in the product name, followed by the specific product, and then the type. In this case, I'm gonna have my brand as ZigZag, and my product name as ZigZag Orange Inch and a Quarter Papers. Next, we have our type field. The type field will act as a subcategory within the accessories category. FlowHub gives you the ability to get creative with your subcategories. You can utilize this field for filtering reports by type and even for creating specials based on type. I'm going to keep papers in as my product type. The next field in this window is going to be our SKU. FlowHub is the capability of generating a unique SKU for accessories. However, if your accessory already has a SKU, let's enter or scan that into this field. For this case, we're going to generate our own SKU. Once we have our SKU entered, we can add our default PAR level. The PAR level feature within the platform is a valuable tool used for inventory management. The number we enter here is going to be the minimum amount of this item we want to have in stock before we need to order more. Within the report's new section of the platform, we can build and schedule the PAR levels report to give us accurate, up-to-date inventory levels. We will be going over this in phase three. Now that we've added a PAR level, we have the option of adding a description along with an image of the accessory. Lastly, we want to add our pre-tax price and our cost for the product. Let's save this window and we'll see our first product populate in our catalog. Now that we have our accessory added, we'll be able to add our inventory for this item. We'll dive into this in phase three. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page, filled out the window, saved and added an accessory to our product catalog. Once you've completed this step, update this task to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task.